Have you ever been tased before? No, and I don't want to find out. What no, it just, feels put, like. just put no, your arm. Yeah. So we're here at the hotel at the convention center in Orlando, Florida, for the YAL Conference 2023. Um, you guys already know by now, but I am about to announce that I am running for Congress, Texas District 23. Um, I have just finished my speech, and I've just rehearsed it for the first time, uh, fixed any spelling errors that might have been there. And uh, yeah, this is just so wildly different for me. It's, it's a huge step in an interesting direction, but I don't know, I've, I feel like it's the right move. I feel like it's, if nothing else, uh, morally consistent for me. So uh, let's see if it fucking ruins my life. Let's get down to crunch time. I think I go up or I have to meet in 45 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that. And uh, yeah, go to the green room, get mic'd up and then walk on stage and end my career. So you guys already know how this is going to go. I'm internally terrified. And uh, I guess it's just time for me to put on a suit. Brandon is a zealous advocate for freedom and Second Amendment rights, like so many of us, right? Yeah. So please give a warm welcome to Brandon. So basically, yeah, I'm, I'm running for Congress. You can watch my full video on that over on the main channel, or you can click on the link down in the description and in the pinned comment. But anyhow, my announcement was just the start of a really crazy weekend. In less than 24 hours of that, I was on a plane to Michigan to meet some, some notable people. So last night was fun. Got to hang out with Nickelback and Brantley Gilbert. It's kind of wild how life works sometimes. <laughs> But today we're out here at the CQT range, hanging out a little bit with uh, Coleon Noir, actually. Me, Coleon, and Cody are here uh, to hang out and see presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy. You're proposing to gut a number of the three-letter agencies That's that right. are, whose job it is, is to protect East Palestine. You know what I'm proposing? I'm proposing to gut them precisely because they haven't been protecting places uh, like fair, East Palestine. Fair, fair enough. These that bureaucracies said... have failed repeatedly. So yeah, this, this guy kind of came out of nowhere for me, uh, but I, I've seen a lot of his interviews, his podcasts, and I, I like a lot of his messaging. He's very, very smart with the way he does media and things. And I don't know, I, I like a lot of the stuff he's standing for. So I guess uh, it's time to, to feel him out. Seems like a smart guy, but I, I just kind of want to see, uh, see what he's all about. Plus, He's technically a presidential candidate willing to do content in a full auto rental range, so that's based. How are you doing, brother? It's good to meet you. Name? Brandon. Brandon. Tell me about you. So, uh, well, I'm a firearm YouTuber. I work with this you crew of Oh, you do? And Same everything. group? Okay, cool. Yeah. You talking to us, too? Uh, am I talking to you? Yeah. Am I? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? Yeah. But uh, yesterday, I, or day before yesterday, I just announced I'm also running for Congress District 23 in Texas. Good for you. Yeah. So Which one's District 23? It's the one with the most border frontage. Okay. Very important. In Texas. So it's from El Paso to San Antonio. So just yesterday? Just, yeah, day before. You guys, let's definitely do something. Give you a chance to yeah, use that. You're going to put out your next video. Yeah. What's the top of your plan platform? <laughs> so one of the biggest things is that the, so the Republican that I'm primarying, uh, voted for gun control, voted for amnesty, voted for a bunch of stuff against the party. Okay. So realistically, hold people accountable. Hold them accountable, get but, them out. But I think that, yeah, you can't just do it as an exercise. Once you pull, you know, pull that move, you gotta win. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like? It feels like Dune for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been tased before? No, and I don't want to find out no, what just put, like. No, just put no, your arm. Nah, I'll do it if you do it. No. Ah, uh, yeah, it's like a little dry stun. Here. Not too bad. Oh, oh, yeah. that's not even a full taser. Yeah. Just do one. Good. Ah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it was only bad because I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> 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 yeah, see, it's not bad. See? It's not bad. Okay. <laughs> Police search warrant! <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucking cool. All right. <laughs> that's fun. Isn't that fun? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're, uh, we're, we're kind of like in a we're vlogging the, the process of like running for Congress. Oh, awesome. Political stuff. Okay, so good. good. It's been, but you, you do like a 2A podcast too, or is it more just like... I don't do a podcast. We just do like YouTube videos. Sweet. We do like two a week, oh, uh, stuff like that. But we put it out to, we're at like 2.8 million subs. Good. And so what we, kind of audiences are you? Like what, what are your audience interested in? Core, uh, core audience is like a, a lot younger. So like okay. teenage, 20s, early cool. 30s. That's what are they thing. interested in? So we do like firearm history, yeah. stuff like that. Awesome. Oh, but it's all like, it's all firearm 
firearm history, related. but also like firearm safety and stuff. Okay. We do a lot. Of, we basically, I try to find a way to blend comedy and entertainment with like firearm safety. Awesome. And, like, military. History. You want to do like ten minutes each, something like that. If you want to, yeah, yeah. let's do that. Yeah. Sure. Let's do it. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, we're gonna try to turn this blog channel into kind of, you know, a, a, a documentary series almost of what it's like to run for Congress and kind of show you the whole way from start to finish. We have some old videos we haven't showed you yet, but I'm sure those will be making their way to the channel soon, as well as my full announcement speech at Young Americans for Liberty. I know this has been a fucking wild ride so far, and it's probably only gonna get crazier. So hopefully this has been entertaining for you to watch as well. If you'd like to support the campaign, you can always go to Brandon Herrera for congress.com or check out the links down in the description and in the pinned comment to go to the Bunker Branding merch page where we have our Herrera 2024 shirts. We're off to a really solid start. And honestly, I think we are scaring the shit out of Tony Gonzalez, which was my entire goal in the first place. Every bit of your support helps, and I, I greatly appreciate it. But I guess all that to say, more videos are coming on the B channel soon. I appreciate you guys so much for your support. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.